quick overview of uh, the Bhagavatam Canto 1 and Canto 2. The first two cantos are considered to be the Lord's lotus feet, and they form the prelude to the rest of the scripture by introducing us to the main philosophical concepts and the prominent characters. Right? And the prominent characters start with Parikshit Maharaj and then uh, Shukadev Goswami, Sutta Goswami, Narad Muni, Lord Brahma, etc. These cantos also establish Bhakti Yoga as the topmost spiritual path and Lord Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the fountainhead of all incarnations. And hence why this uh, Bhagavatam is regarded the, the follow-up to the Bhagavad Gita. So Bhagavad Gita is the preliminary study and then uh, Bhagavad Gita finishes at Sarva Dharma Parityacha, surrender everything unto me, Krishna says to Arjun, and, um, and uh, this is where Bhagavatam starts. So, and in this, these two cantos, they're wonderful prayers by the Lord, like uh, Uddhav, um, Maitri Rishi, um, so many wonderful prayers, and how the Lord, yeah, Bhishma Dev, how the Lord reciprocates with the devotees, um, like Bhishma Dev again, uh, with Parikshit Maharaj, his protection, the birth of Parikshit, and how he wanted to chastise Kali, and talks also about the history of the Bhagavatam. These first two cantos give a lot about the history of the Bhagavatam, which we've talked about, and the circumstances in which this scripture made its appearance. Talks about the process of creation several times, Brahma to Narad, Maitri to Vidhur. Talks about the Virat Rup, the universal form of the Lord, the Chatur Sloki is in here, in the second canto, and also talks about the 10 topics of the Bhagavatam, it gives a little overview, and then the rest of the Bhagavatam has the rest. Uh, quick overview of the third canto that we've just finished. Uh, it feels like a little while ago, doesn't it? The mm -hmm. third, together with the fourth canto, correspond to the Lord's ties, and predominantly discuss the topics of the primary and secondary creation. So uh, through the conversation of Vidur and Maitriya, the third canto describes a variegated range of topics that include the following. Creation by the Supreme Lord, how he uh, manifests as Karana Dakshay Vishnu, and then Garba Dakshay Vishnu, and then finally Karana Dakshay Vishnu. The sub-creation by Brahma, um, the Sarga and Visarga. So he, he does the Visarga. And creation of um, Brahma's sons who also uh, assist him populate the universe. Talks about time, embryology, the, uh, the birth of this, uh, the living entity into the, not the birth, but the uh, journey of the living entity in the womb. Talks about family life. That's through uh, Kardamuni, no, uh, Kapil Dev, Kapil Dev, the instructions to his Devuti. mother Devuti. Sankhya Yoga, again, Kapil Dev, Bhakti Yoga, it's a lot of prominence of Bhakti Yoga. As we discussed uh, one time about the amount of times Bhakti Yoga is stressed in the third canto. Stanga Yoga, Gyani Yoga, Karma Yoga, it's all covered. Spiritual world is described as his material world and hell as well. And uh, many prominent episodes, right? the pastimes of Varaha, the descriptions of Vaikuntha, and the descriptions of Lord Vishnu, what he looks like, the interactions, different types of interactions, Kashyap Muni and Aditi, and then there was Kardam Muni and Devuti, and there was the teachings of Lord Kapil. So amazing things we've covered already, um, and we should try to regularly remember what we've covered because it's easy in Kali Yuga to forget everything very quickly. In the fourth canto, Maitreya, continues to describe the family lines of Swambhu Manu, his descendants rather. So Manu had three daughters. Anybody remember their names? Any names? Three yes, first class. Prasuti, Prasuti and, yes. uh, and uh, Aditi? No, uh, no, no. Akuti. Akuti, yes. Akuti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, well done, that was good. Priyamvrata. Yes, very good boy. They're the sons. Well done. 
So Devahuti, we've talk, talked about. We haven't talked about her, um, her children. So that's coming up. And Akuti will come up in the fourth uh, canto, as will Prashuti's children, uh, lineage. Uttanpad, that comes, that's one of the sons of Manu. And his uh, pastimes are uh, discussed from the, uh, towards, sorry, yes, eighth, eighth chapter to the 31st chapter. Huge. Yes. Dromaraj father. Good. Uh, I was just going to ask that. Does anybody know what Leela this is? Dhruv Maharaj is Leela, correct. And then Priyavrata, we won't touch him this uh, canto. He'll come in the fifth canto. Another son, another very interesting personality. Devhuti. Okay, how many daughters did she have? Nine. Yes, and? One son, Kapil Dev. Yes, good, 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 good. Who they were married to? You want the name? Oh, they, no. The names are there, yes. <laughs> names, are names are tough, names are tough. Yeah, names are tough. But uh, one of the daughters was married to um, Atri Rishi. Anshuya was married to Atri Rishi. And this is a very famous couple. They uh, gave, uh, well, Atri Rishi did such tapasya, we'll see in the first chapter uh, um, when we talk about that. <laughs> they uh, gave, birth, he gave birth to Dathitreya, Soma, and Durvasamuni, who is a Pashu in expansions of Vishnu, uh, Shiva, and Brahma. Very, very interesting. So we'll see that. Uh, Sorry, Prabhuji. Yes. The expansion, expansions of Brahma, Vishnu, and Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, all these expansions, Dattatre, Soma, and Durvasha. So one was one was Vishnu, Dattatreya. Okay. Brahma was Soma, and okay. Shiva was Durvasa. Shiva was okay. So Durvasa Muni, you know him, right? He's yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. He gets angry quickly. So. And he gets very pleased quickly as well. <laughs> like Shiva. <laughs> like Shiva. Soma, we don't know much about. That Atreya is, um, is yes. like a, a partial incarnation of Vishnu. And he gave the Vedic knowledge um, to one of the kings. I can't remember which one. Was. He had 24 gurus. Yes, yes. that's right. Oh, that's yeah. right. Very good. Mm. Akuti. Uh, married Pajavati Ruchi, and they begot uh, Yagya and Dakshina. Pashuti, she married Daksha. And Daksha is one of the most interesting characters, and we'll see a lot about him in this canto. His famous daughter. <laughs> yes. Does anybody know the name of her most famous daughter? Parvati? Parvati. Yes. Sati. Other name. Sati. Sati. Oh, other Sati. name. Yes. Sati. Yes. Sati. yes. I have Raj Shiva. Yes. yes. Indeed. Very good. Very good. And that's going to come in the, again, the first canto, uh, first chapter of the fourth canto. And then Uttampad, uh, that should be 4 8, 4 8. He had two wives. Anybody remember the names? Sunati and Suruchi. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Don't I get answer first? <laughs> okay, I have. We have a conquer. Uh, he's doing. He's he's trying to compete with everyone. So we have to keep quiet and let him tell. How does he know everything? How does he know Riyansh? So he, he, he's, he's amazing, isn't he? He's he's phenomenal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my. He he brought from his past life. It looks he's like that. How old is he? Seven. Forces <laughs> oh. to shave. <laughs> he should be doing this Katyani Vrat, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and is he related to Induluk? To whom is he related? No, no yes. one here. His mother is Swati in uh, her Hyderabad. They, 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 yeah. <laughs> so he's so with whom he's staying then? His mother in, in Hyderabad. Hyderabad. There, there is a living in Hyderabad. So he's speaking from Hyderabad? Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's middle of the night there. Not quite. Much. OMG. 
<laughs> this is his main interest, so that's why he stays up so late. And mother, he knows the twelfth chapter and the fifteenth chapter by heart. He can do it in his sleep. <laughs> he must be. He, yeah, I don't know what he was in his previous life, but he must be. Oh my! <laughs> his huge respect for little one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely right. He's very good boy. He's yeah. so quick on the button. By the time I reach, he's already spoken the answer. <laughs> we'll have to muzzle him. <laughs> he, he, he's trying to respect to his mother as well. <laughs> yeah. We should, we should see his face sometime, Riyaj. Oh, yeah. See. Show yourself. Where is he? Uh, Riyaj, put your video on. Riyaj, can we see you? He may be having dinner. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. It's China. Too late for dinner. Anyway, Aruna, you were going to say something. I was going to say he's, he's after your job. <laughs> you know, I'm looking for. <laughs> very bright, very bright. Yeah. No, we need to, we need preachers like him, and there's so many like Shavi. There's also. Uh, Sanjana and there's Govinda Prabhu, there's so many now who... Yes, am amazing children. Starting very young, amazing. Yeah, no, it's good. Mm. It's good for us. <laughs> yeah. So just to finish off this kind of very quickly, uh, very ad, um, overview, sorry. There's some incredible personalities who are coming up shortly. Lord Shiva, Suniti, she's a really incredible personality. Dhruv Maharaj. I think we'll be won over by him. Ang, King Anga, Prithu, Prithu Maharaj, the Prachetas. And then there's some extraordinary examples of devotionals. These are extraordinary examples. And then there are some quite unfavorable attitudes as well. Daksha, from whom we can <laughs> learn the mistakes. They make the mistakes, we learn from them. Suruchi, who's the other wife of uh, Uttanpad. King Vena, yeah, who, who was a pretty nasty piece of work. Indra, Indra was really pretty badly behaved um, most of the time. And then there was the Pachina, Pachina Barbhi. Excuse me, Prabhuji. Hmm. Yes, we want to see you. Can we see you? Mm, no, Prabhuji, my ear is not working. Oh, okay, no problem. When it works, you, you show yourself, okay? Yes, what do you okay, want to say? So, Prabhuji, I want to tell that uh, Prithu Maharaj followed Achanam. Yes, very good. Achanam very good. and uh, he, when uh, um, Darushi's um, Darushi um, Kadavena Prithu Maharaj appeared from his body. Yeah. Means he's the son of Vena? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We'll, we'll come across that in due mm. course. This country is very rich as well in the content. Uh, it's, there's a positive transformation and go, undergone by many of the personalities, mainly due the, into the intervention of devotees. And this adds to this the glory of bhakti. So we'll see that case after case, Daksha was completely transformed from his um, proud behavior into a very hum humble soul. Uh, furthermore, prayers of pure devotees in this country disclose the foremost aspirations of the devotees. And that is to hear about Krishna in the association, sadhu sang. The pure devotees, they don't want anything for themselves. They just want to hear about Krishna. They want to serve Krishna, that's all. And they reject heavenly enjoyments, impersonal relationship. Liberation. Liberation, which is what um, is the result of karma yoga, jnana yoga. They don't want any of that. So again, it established this is the superiority of bhakti yoga. And there's many examples of kings like Uttanpa, Dhruv, Ang, Prithu, Pachini, Bharhi, and Pachetas, who rule the citizenship, citizens with full responsibility while practicing bhakti. And then when they retired, they retired at the right time for spiritual ones. It's not that we carry on until we die. That's not the whole, that's not the purpose of human life. Purpose of human life is to become self-realized. And these kings showed the example for everybody. 
They're glorious examples of ladies like Anusuya, Sati, Suniti, Archi, Vaira, Vairabhi, who are devoted to their husbands with faith. Their activities teach lessons to disciples in serving their spiritual masters. So amazing um, canto and uh, looking forward to going through it uh, in some detail with all of you. Uh, we'll start probably on Monday because tomorrow um, Indulek Mataji is going to go through the glory, the power of association, good association, and, and perhaps the negative side of bad association. Saturday, we're going to go through some Ikadashi recipes um, and um, do a, a sort of a demonstration. Maybe a small one. Yeah, um, we try to do a yeah, demonstration. A virtual, yeah, for one of them anyway. Yeah. Um, and then Saturday, Sunday, we've got a very special guest coming. Uh, he's written a book about uh, the journey to Gokul, uh, easy journey to Gokul. Um, and uh, I hope devotees are able to uh, attend that uh, seminar at three o'clock. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday is three o'clock starts. Uh, tonight we are doing uh, the uh, starting the bhajan nights, uh, hopefully with Bhakti Vinod Thakur's bhajans. And tomorrow we are doing we starting the Bhagavad Gita from scratch. So uh, at in the evening seven thirty UK time. So please do join if you can. And that's it. Uh, any questions or comments on uh, the third canto, fourth canto? Sorry, overview of the fourth canto. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. The prachetas, mm. are they the brothers who married only one yes. girl? Yes, that's okay. correct. So uh, it's, it's not only Draupadi married five person, it's only it's also these uh, brothers marrying one. Uh, is, it the, the, is it the four, forest daughters? Forest? Yeah. Similar, King, yeah. That's yeah, right. King. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yes, Thank 10, you. 000 of them. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Interesting. Yeah, we'll find out a lot more about them. It's going to be a, a wonderful journey, actually. Uh, so looking forward to the fourth canto. So and how many chapters are we doing one day? We'll try, we'll try an average of three, but I suspect it might be too many. We'll, we'll yeah, sometimes it'll be too much to read. Too so much to read, yeah. How many, how many chapters are there in, in canto four? 31 chapters. 31 chapters. 31. <laughs> yes, I looked at it today and I see how much have I to read. Uh, <laughs> first chapter, I think the Kento 4, chapter 1, I think this is about 69 verses. I nearly fainted, yeah. Prabhuji. Yeah. <laughs> I fainted. <laughs> yeah. But most of them are just, most of the uh, content is just names. Mm. Names, yes. Yeah, so yeah. The, the first so, one, yeah. I don't think I, we I, would I, remember that. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, and skim through it if you don't have too much time. Uh, yeah. I, ideally, want, like uh, Aruna, Aruna reads uh very carefully and that's that's first class very very, very nice. nice yeah if you can do that's fine if it's possible yeah. mm -hmm. yes but otherwise skim through and we'll get the basic principles of the chapters so you he's saying three it would be hard to digest three in a day like, it, it could be difficult to read uh, for devotees to read the three chapters but okay. we'll, we'll take it uh, one step at a time um we will we will aim for three, but um, uh, even if we get through two, mm. it, uh, initially, I, I think as Nani Ben said, um, the first chapter is, is a long one. Um, yes, let's do two. Yeah, let's do two for the first one. And then and then it gets a little easier so because it, some some of them are just, it's just, uh, you know, like uh, the, the cops and robbers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a novel <laughs> a little bit. So, um, some of them are quite easy to get through very e quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, let's go through to the prayers. Oh, yeah. Uh, where are you? <laughs> 